particular clip, um, again, this is from 2014, it's at Oakwood Cemetery. Uh, it was originally intended to be part of a larger investigation. I'd made myself, uh, I'd gone out there and uh, attempted to just kind of do a little preliminary. And I came across this black box. I'm not going to go too much detail because I actually do go into it in more detail in the video. Um, so I'll come back at the very end of the clip and uh, we'll talk a little bit more about, you know, what what my thoughts were at the time and what I did after the time. Um, but we'll get there in a second. Hello, it's me, Andrew. I'm here at Oakwood Cemetery in Austin, Texas. And I noticed as I was walking through some graves, a black t-shirt covering a box, something inside of it, and then it was wrapped with some type of black ribbon. And it was sitting beside a tree on the other side of this uh, of the fence, along the fence line, sitting beside this tree. It wasn't like sitting on top of a grave or anything. It was just sitting off in the bushes, kind of. And so I have it right here with me. I'm kind of curious to open it. But as soon as I picked it up and carried it kind of back to my car, you know, kind of away from everybody, I have my ghost radar going and it says never. Anyway, I'm going to show you the box that I found with uh, t-shirt material around it and I'm kind of curious to open it, but I'm not sure if it's a good idea. I don't want to open some type of curse or some kind of, uh, I don't know. This is the box I found. I'm kind of curious to open it. I feel like I probably shouldn't, but I think as a uh, investigator, this is probably something I need to investigate. Like I told you at the beginning of the video, I wanted to give you my insights on what I think is going on here. And uh, by all means, please feel free to go down in the comment section. Let me know what your thoughts are. Maybe this means something to you. Hell, maybe you're the one that threw it out there for all I know. Uh, please let me know what's going on. That'd be very interesting to find out. Um, my thoughts on this are that it is something ritualistic. Uh, what that ritual is or what they were trying to accomplish, I'm not sure. But you got to think about the place that it's in. It's a cemetery. Uh, about what you found, which in this case is a black box wrapped with black fabric with a black ribbon. Black is usually uh, a sign of something more sinister, um, a ritual perhaps. Uh, what the potatoes symbolize or why there are potatoes. Is there something that's special about there being two of them? Uh, I'm not sure. That's up for speculation. Now, this particular trip out here, and I didn't record these other two instances, so take this as you as you will. Uh, as I was driving down, there was uh, uh, an area on the road where there was a bunch of corn tortillas in the middle of the road, like somebody had just thrown them out. You know, like there's probably like 50 of them, like a 50 pack of them. And I just thought that's so strange. And, you know, I thought, you know, maybe they're bad. Someone threw them over the fence, let the birds eat them. You know, we used to do that in the country, throw out old bread and let the birds eat it, you know, no big deal. So it didn't, wasn't that strange. The other thing that I thought that was, that was interesting, that particular trip was between the graves, there was a quinceanera dress. Random, I know. Um, it wasn't like it was laid out on a grave, which would still be strange, but maybe someone died. And she laid it out on the grave for whatever reason. Um, family did it. I, I honestly don't know. 
but I thought it was strange enough that it didn't seem like it was positioned in a in a particular fashion. It didn't seem like it was ripped off, but it didn't seem like it was taken off slowly and laid down. You know what I mean? So it was it was it was interesting, and it was just a random dress out in the middle of the cemetery. Um, that was the same same trip uh, where I found the black box. Now. Um, my thoughts on it were also that maybe it had something to do with like some Mesoamerican ritual that I'm unaware of. Um, because the back area of where I found this box at, there's a lot of Hispanic population in that particular area. Um, at least from what I could see, you know, a couple of Hispanic people were walking along there and, and coming and going from the house. So I thought maybe there was something about that. Maybe um, I called my mom at that time and I talked with her. And she she didn't really give me any advice or anything like that 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 I took away. Uh, I mean, keep in mind this was from eight years ago, so it wasn't something that kind of really stuck with me. I even called my dad at the time. He's Hispanic. I thought maybe he might know because my grandmother uh, is uh, she was Native American, so I thought maybe there's like some Native American connection that he might recognize or something like that. But you know, again, I try to try to do as best I can to try to answer these questions and I just haven't had anything so um and it could be something as simple as just some kids out playing around and and doing some silly stuff uh you know, I also thought that maybe because it was a Samsung phone that maybe somebody put it in there to make it feel like heavier and like hey you know I got a Samsung phone you want to buy it? you know I don't know again it's all speculation so yeah this this is uh this is a new kind of format I'm just trying to make it real quick and short little bites in here uh, I just want to kind of interject what I thought was going on here, but, uh, you know, again, it's all speculation. So um, got a lot of interesting things that I want to show off uh, in the next few weeks. Um, still working them out, but we'll, we'll see what happens. Um, that being said, you know, if you like this kind of video, you just want to like it or just throw your comments on there. You know what to do. Um, but, yeah, I appreciate you taking the time.